Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Brevard Sports Network. Alan Slaughterzinski with you here tonight. And uh, busy, busy day. You know, I don't care if it's June and we're approaching the July 4th holiday. Sports doesn't stop in Brevard County. And it is the biggest reason why our passion is what it is, because it's 24-7, 365, and I absolutely love it. And I know you all do, too. And today, uh, Satellite High School Athletic Director T.J. Gowdy made the uh, decision for the new Satellite Head Football Coach, and he joins me tonight. Before I bring on uh, Coach Elton, I just want uh, one piece of housekeeping here real quick. Coming up after the interview with Coach Helton, we will log off, and then we will come right back with the Brevard Sports Network Offensive Softball Player of the Year, Player of the Year, and our Coach of the Year. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, help me congratulate and welcome here to Brevard Sports Network with the title, finally, the title of Head Football Coach, Mr. Brian Helton. Uh, sir, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How you doing? Brian, first of all, let's talk a little bit because, first of all, let me just say congratulations to you. Well-deserved. Thank you. Uh, long overdue. Anywhere. Let me ask you this, Brian, and I want to start with this. I know you're a man that's based in faith. You didn't, when you didn't get the job at Merritt Island and you didn't get the job at Vieira, what kept you going, Brian? What was it that said, you know what, maybe this wasn't where I was meant to be or the job I was meant to have? Because I think this is a perfect fit. I really do. But from your perspective, what was it that continued to drive you to want to be a head coach in this county? Uh, it, I mean, it, it, the, the biggest thing is, is that, you know, you you hear it all the time that God has a reason. God has a reason on, on why why things happen and he has a road for you. And and that path sometimes takes different different turns and, you know, throws those curveballs at you. And, and, you know, it it is what it is. So um, I didn't get the job at Vieira and, you know, it was a it just wasn't meant, meant to be. And then I had a great opportunity to, to, to be with Merritt Island and, and, and be up for, for that position. And, you know, it, it didn't work out and it was okay. You know, I, I still had a great uh, relationship with, with Tyler Murray. Um, great guy as it is. And, you know, we, we sat down and we talked and, and I uh, told him, you know, I still want to be a part of this program and, and this is where I want to be. And, and, you know, if, if there's a possibility that you keep me, I, I would love to be be your defensive coordinator. And, you know, Tyler was like, yes, you know, I, I want you there. So, you know, it, it makes the transition easy. And, you know, it, it's you get a little bit of a disappointment, but, you know, you you're doing something that you love. You're still with the kids. You're still with, with your group of, uh, of boys, you know, so it 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 makes it easy, um, you know, and this opportunity came open and. Uh, you know, my, my it was funny because Christy, who is who's my wife, is is the cheer coach at Merritt Island, and she goes, uh, "Are you going to put your name in for it?" I said, uh, "I don't know, I don't know." And as her, as as Christy and I are talking, um, I get a text message, "Hey, coach, you know, this is uh, T.J. Gotti. Just want to touch base with you. Um, you mind if I call?" So you know, we we sat and he called and we talked and. He, he offered me a, a, a chance to, to interview and, and uh, you know, I, I talked it over with, with uh, Tyler Murray and told him what was going on. And he said, yes, go for it. You know, I, 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 I don't blame you. Um, so I sat down and met with uh, the principal, um, Mr. Pruitt, met with uh, TJ Gaudy. And uh, there was one other gentleman in there. And I, I do apologize because I, I forget his name. Um, I'm drawing a blank right now, but it, we sat down for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And um, he called later on or earlier this after this morning, late, late morning and, and offered me the position. And, you know, I, I, I jumped at it. You know, it, it's a it's a great opportunity. It's a it's a great school. Um, I've been there before, which is which is uh, a positive And, you know, it, it, it helps also. 
for for knowing what that community is about and 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 what satellite stands for and and what they're working towards um you know and and being there that that first stint with with andrew disney and and phil price and and greg smith i mean it 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 just opened it opened the possibilities and you know i i learned so much from all those guys and it just made it possible and you know, you know i'm just I, i'm excited to be at, at satellite and 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 working with the boys i met about seven or eight of them today and you know they're they're excited i'm excited they and they're 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 ready to roll they're definitely ready to roll you didn't uh you didn't waste any time getting over there getting into scorpion gear and and getting with them and i love it i love the thing that I love about you is your passion for what you do. And I want to talk about what it is, what, cause you've been, you were a center uh, in college. You were a linebacker in college. You coached both sides of the football. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but you know, I love the fact, Brian, that last year, you know, what you did with that Merritt Island defense was just absolutely phenomenal. In fact, you were our 2022 Brevard sports network coordinator of the year. Uh, the shutouts, the games, uh, 78 points all season, up until you had to face the all-star team out of South Florida in the state championship game. Tough one. But, uh, you know, what What do? what is your preference? Uh, outstanding defensive quarter. You've been an offensive coordinator. What will you gravitate to at Satellite? Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm still going to come in and, 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 and be the head coach and, and, and do the head coaching responsibilities. But, uh, you know, um, I, I will be taking over the defense. We, we, we will be in, uh, installing defenses and, um, you know, I'm, I'm in the process of talking to the, the assistant coaches right now and, and, uh, keeping them on board and, and, and touching bases with them. And, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're going to have that, we're going to have that uh, attack mentality that, you know, we, we respect the game. We respect the players. We respect uh, everybody on that field. And, and we're, we're going to set that tone from the time we step on it to the time we walk off. And, you know, we, we, we're, we're going to be classy about it, but you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to come after you. We're going to come after you at the at, at special teams, offense, defense, but we want to be the ones that set the tone from, from ground zero. What what an advantage you have of having been at Merritt Island for four years. You know, you stay in the district. You know these teams up one side, back down the other. Have you ever taken a job in which you felt so prepared for? <laughs> I, you know, I, I I talk to you now, Alan, and and you know, I I feel like I'm not prepared. You know, I I, oh, I don't on. ever feel prepared. You know, fr Friday nights, you know, I don't feel prepared. But you know, everyone tells me, Coach, you're fine, you're good, you got this. You know, the boys are ready. Just you know, lean on them. They'll lean on you. And you know, it's it's it, it's the biggest. It's it's just having that that feeling of comfort with with the with with your players and with your personnel and with the other coaches and and you know, them having your back, you having their, their back and, and knowing that no matter what go, no matter what happens, whether it's good or bad, if it's bad, we're going to make the changes together. We're, we're going to figure it out and, and we're, we're going to go after it and, and we're going to fix it. Arguably. And I don't mean any disrespect to any other high school in this community, but I think the thing from Ted Kimmy to you, um, Mark Karsten's beforehand, uh, the thing that I always gathered from any of the coaches there were was how involved that community is in that in, in all of the athletics at Satellite. You go to Satellite High School on a Friday night, and it's one of maybe three or four places in Brevard County where you get that Friday night light Texas type feel at Satellite. You do. I love it. Yeah. Um, Although I'd like to see the press boxes upgrade a little bit so you can get some more of us in there. Uh, that's just All right, I'll, I, I'll there. put that on my list for you. There Alan. you go. <laughs> right, right. So, <laughs> how how important is it? And I know this is a lot on your plate as a new head coach, but what would you say your philosophy is in terms, uh, coach, of uh, community involvement? Oh, it, it's it's huge. Um, you know, I, I come from a small community uh, in in Pennsylvania and. 
it, it was. It, it was the Friday night lights. And, you know, the whole town shut down and everybody was at the game. And and then, you know, after the game, the, the town opened back up and, you know, you, you had everybody come to it. And and that, that, that's that's the feeling that I get. That that's that's what you get when when you're at satellite. And, you know, I, my first my first time being there, it, it was just like that. I mean, we walked into it and and we had the support of the community. You, you, I mean, everybody would come to the games. It, you'd walk into a local restaurant. Hey, Coach Helton, how you doing? Um, you know, we 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 used to eat a lot of dinners at at um, at Long Doggers, and yeah. we 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 had our own cups. We, you walked in, and I, our cup, my, my cup said Coach Helton. Coach Disney had a had a cup that said Coach Disney on it, and you know, it's 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 having that feeling that it's family, and family is always going to stick together through the good times, through the bad times. You're they're always going to have your back, and and you know that that's that's the biggest thing for for me is is having that that family community feeling you got uh i tell you i i got an opportunity to broadcast the spring game against holy trinity um and i was really impressed with the offense the defense um you know to me i think one of the biggest impacts the uh coach kimmy had at that location was how he was able to build the numbers Coach Helton, you know, you can look on that sidelines at that spring game. There were 100 kids standing there. You don't see that anywhere else in this county. The other thing I thought that he did really well was his interaction and involvement with youth football, the satellite beat Seahawks. How do you feel about youth football and high school football intertwining? And do you see youth football as it uh, does it have a place in development for the high school level? Oh, 100 percent. If it. it, it if you don't have a developmental league, you know, with, with your little leagues and, and, and the community football, you know, you're, you're, you're hindering the, the, the process of, of, of building kids and, and becoming football players. Um, and, and that goes for any sport, whether you're in soccer, whether you're in tennis, whether you're, whether you're in basketball, you know, you, you, you have to have that, 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 that community involvement. And, you know, Saturday at, seven o'clock in the morning at kickoff time, you know, you, you, you're, you better be there and, yeah. and, you know, and, and you better enjoy yourself because they'll know whether you're enjoying yourself or not. And, you know, it's, it's, it's so much fun to, to, to watch those kids start in, in flags and don't even know how to pull a flag. And then yeah. they grow up a little bit more and now they're learning how to tackle. And then they grow a little bit more and grow a little bit more. And, and they, they see you and they're, they're calling out your name. You're calling out their names and you're cheering for them. And, you know, now they're walking through the, the, the fence and, and walking on to satellite high school's football yeah. field and, and, and knowing that they've made it. And, and they're going to take that pride that they've had growing up and, and wishing and wanting and can't waiting to be on, on that field and, and representing the, the, the Scorpions high school uh, satellite and, and, now they now they had their chance. And you know, it's it's it's, it's got to be. I, I don't think a lot it, It's got to be big. I don't think a, no, a lot of, and that's a great answer, by the way. We're here with new satellite Scorpion head football coach Brian Helton and coach. I don't think a lot of people know that no other outside of um, you know Rockledge maybe their youth football program last year and Coco had some some youth football. Uh, success and of course the high school success as well but you know uh, what what um, uh, Miss Brown does every year at Rockledge is phenomenal for their youth football league but last year was a really special season for the satellite community as a whole with football because you had uh, I think it was their 12 or, or I, I apologize 12 or 14 youth team that went to the Pop Warner Super Bowl nearly pulled it off and then you had the Scorpions last year win their first ever home playoff game, their first ever road playoff game. It was a huge, huge season uh, last year for the entire community. Uh, how do you step in and continue that excitement and just keep pushing forward? What's some of the first things that you'll do to ensure the success of the program moving forward? Uh, well, I mean, the, the, the first thing that I've got to do is, is I, I met with uh, the administration today 
Um, I, I got a, I got a tour of the campus. I, I got to see what I have. Um, I met with some boys, uh, that, and, and talked to them for about 35, 45 minutes. Uh, get, got, got a, a, a good understanding and a good feeling from, from them and, and, and what they expect and, and what they, what they want from me. Um, I, they, they also got the same thing for me on, on, on what I, on what I'm expecting from them and, and, you know, what, what needs to be done. And, you know, so l- looking at that, um, you know, I, I've gotten, I, I've got some of that done. I, I'm in the process of talking to the assistant coaches, uh, trying to keep them on board. Um, you know, it's, it's, they're, they're they've been here. They, they've been through the process. They, they, they've been through the hardships and, and they know what it takes to win. Um, so, uh, I'm in the process of trying to trying to talk to all of them and reach out to them and and see if they want to stay, um, you know. So uh, and then after that, I'm going to meet with the with the boosters. Uh, we'll have a. I think uh, Ryan has frozen up uh, on me here. I think he was saying that uh, he was saying he was uh, going to meet with the boosters. He's completely. Check out this he has completely frozen up on me. Um, that's okay. Uh, Brian, if you can hear me, uh, if you want, come on back in, jump out and come back in here. But uh, Brian Helton today named the Satellite Scorpions head football coach. He's the third new head football or second new head football coach since Ted Kimmy stepped down in January. Of course, uh, a couple of weeks ago, Knox Robinson suddenly and unexpectedly stepped down uh, from the position, uh, became open. T.J. Gotti and company filled it with Coach Elton. And Coach Elton began uh, his first Brevard County uh, coaching job, he told me today, Dan Higgins at O'Galley. He has spent time at Florida Air. He has spent time at Cocoa Beach. Yeah, I didn't know Florida Air had a football team either. Florida Air, Cocoa Beach. He had two stints at Merritt Island. This is his second stint uh, at Satellite. Of course, Vieira as well. And I apologize if I'm leaving anybody out. Played center at Lebanon Valley College, Lebanon Valley College in Pennsylvania. And he was a linebacker for Salisbury State University. Uh, good, good football school, D3, D2, D3 football school on the eastern shore of Maryland. Uh, he was a part of that staff uh, at Vieira that went to the 2015 state championship game against St. Thomas Aquinas. So, look, I love to hire Brian Helton at Satellite. I think, arguably, and somebody told me this today in the community as well. Here he is. We got sorry coach. about that. Coach, I appreciate it. All, right, all right, Coach. All right, Coach. Let me get. Uh, let me. I, I was telling. I was going over your resume and yes, how you began coaching at O'Galley with Dan Higgins. And as you look back on all of your experience, you know, with coach Disney, with coach Mays and all of the guys that you've coached with in this County or elsewhere, who do you draw? What do you draw from whom? Who are some of the coaches that you've coached under and next to that, um, that you really learned a lot from? Okay. Uh, I, I'm a, I'm a, I will answer that question as soon as I finish the the the, the uh, that question oh. I, I froze up on. So um, after I get done talking to uh, the booster clubs and everything like that, um, I, what I need to do is I'm going to get together with uh, with the with the the little league Seahawks and and sit down and talk to them, introduce myself, uh, tell them my philosophies, um, and 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 get them on 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 board with with okay. with us and see see how I can help them and uh, and and tell them what you know I, I'm or ask them what I need to for for me to be there um, and and be part of that community and have them with us. Uh, so that's so, so, you got the, so you've already you know the students the expectations the community and the little league man you're off to you're off and running. So uh, yeah, it's uh you know it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a process. Um, you know, I'm I'm hoping to meet with the with the uh, with the uh, boosters um, Monday next week, and then uh, after that, set up a, a, a time to where I can meet with the with the uh, 
with the little league football team and and and, and touch base with them. So, so now so now, now the coaches. Yes. Now, who uh, have you drawn the and what from whom and what? Uh, my my high school head coach, um, okay. Dennis Bumgarner. Uh, he was not only my head coach; he was a father figure. He was he was someone that I could always turn to. Um, I still talk to him. Uh, he he calls me weekly. Sometimes you know if it gets too busy, but you know he, he'll call me in two weeks or whatever, and we'll sit down and we'll talk and just touch base and, and see how everything's going. Um, you know, he, he had that, he had that, 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 that relationship with you to where it was, you respect me. I will respect you. You've got to follow the directions. I'm going to lead you. And what I want is for you to be a good positive role model and, and be a, a formal citizen out, out there in the real life. And, and, you know, that's what he was teaching you. Um, Dan Higgins, uh, I, I've learned so much from, from, from that, from that man. I mean, he, he is, he is such a motivator. Uh, I just listening to, to his pregame speeches, just, I mean, it, it put butterflies in anybody and, and he, he could get anybody to run through a wall. He, he was, he was phenomenal. Um, Tony Piccolo, one of the greatest guys that I've ever met, one of the He's most true. organized men I've ever met, and uh, you know I, I I pull a lot from him um, with with the with the structure and and the and the playing and 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 how to take care of of the everyday facilities and the and the and the workings of the of the of the team and the program. Um, Andrew Disney, I, I, X's and O's dude by far. I mean, offense, defense, special teams. I, I've learned so much from him, and I, I take I, I take what I've learned from being an offensive coordinator and a defense coordinator a, a lot from 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 Andrew. He he helped me out a lot, and I do appreciate that. Uh, oh my God, Ke- Kevin Mays. Kevin Mays was was I, I I was with him for for almost nine years, and he is absolutely phenomenal. Um, he he taught me a great way of, of running offenses. He taught me how to, how to run a, 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 a productive uh, practice schedule, work on it. Um, and, and, and how to, how to relate to kids, you know, and, and knowing how hard to be on a kid, but knowing when you need to pull the reins back, put your arm around him and be like, what's going on? What, what's, what, what's happening? Uh, um, I learned from Derek Smith, Great guy, Hurley Brown, um, you know, gave me that 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 great opportunity at, at Merritt Island, and I learned so much from him. Um, he was the one who who pushed me on to the three three, and and he he was my mentor for that, and he is he's done so many good things for me, and and you know, I, I've I've pulled so many things from everybody. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a great feeling. It's a it's a Donny Donny Hay, Donny Hayes, who was my 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 head coach at at uh, at Vieira. My first stint, he was he's a great guy. Um, he he was he learned how he taught me how to take care of 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 the little things and 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 not let things bother you. Um, and you know, I still work on that because you know I I still get I still get frustrated sometimes. But I need to learn how to keep working on on it's okay, and you know you're 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 going to get thrown a, a monkey wrench here and there every once in a while. So, coach, I, I often ask the student athletes this question. I ask them to give others advice. What advice? I mean, if we're telling truths here, coach, head coaching jobs in this county, whether it's football or anything else, they open up a lot and. You know, it is what it is, uh, okay? Um, there's no criticism of it. It just happens. What would you tell a aspiring coach who wants to be a head coach that doesn't maybe get that opportunity they want it right out of the gate or we're looking for? What advice would you offer them? Don't let your ego take over you. Learn as much as you can 
and enjoy the process of what you're doing and your day will come your day will come well coach i tell you what i uh am extremely happy for you i know that uh i can't wait to have you back on the post game show this year i can't thank you enough last year for coming up to walk-ons after all those big wins and uh you take a look at the schedule next year it's already in place for satellite uh you got palm bay Heritage, Vieira, Melbourne, O'Galley, Astronauts, Bayside, Seabreeze, Rockledge, Bayside, Merritt Island, and Space Coast. There's an extra Bayside game in there somewhere, so something's amiss there. But that's the gist of the schedule. Uh, you will be playing in the new 3S District 10 next year, which, uh, you know, again, it is what it is. Uh, you don't have to play those teams from Miami, Jacksonville, or Tampa, uh, should the Scorps be able to get back into the state playoffs this year. Uh, Coach, if there were one message, just one, that you could deliver, because right now I'm pretty sure you got members of the satellite football community watching, what is the message you want them to know about you and what it is that they can expect from the satellite football program? Loyalty. And, and, and a promise that you step on that, into that program and give me four years, I'm going to give you four years and extra afterwards. Whatever I can do to help you. Um, I'm, I'm, I will help and I will groom and I will grow and I will do anything possible to help your student athlete. Coach, congratulations again. We're very excited for you and, um, you know, good luck. You know, we're here Thank you. if you need anything and uh, appreciate you taking some time. And please tell Christy hello and your daughter, Taylor, and everybody we said hello there. Yes, I will. Thank you All very right. much. I want to thank Coach Brian Helton there. And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes to make the announcement for our softball player of the year, offensive player of the year, and our coach of the year. I want to thank Brian Helton. Uh, great hire by the Satellite Scorpions. One more hire to go, Holy Trinity. Uh, we'll see what happens there. So for Coach Brian Elton, for Caleb Brown, I'm Alex Lodarczynski for the Brevard Sports Network.